If you have enjoyed looking and listening to my books, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you. A Ladybird Leader's Book, educational series of books. This edition published in 1974. Trains. A train pulled by a horse. This was the first public railway in the world. A horse could pull more wagons on rails than it could on a road. This is the Surrey Iron Railway, opened in 1803. A famous early steam locomotive. The first steam locomotive was built in 1804. In 1829, Stevenson built the Rocket. It could pull a full load at 24 miles an hour. The age of steam on the railways had begun. The Liverpool and Manchester Railway. This was the first public railway using only steam locomotives and no horses. At its opening in 1830, a Member of Parliament was run down and killed by a locomotive. These were the first-class carriages. And here's the engine called Jupiter. These were the third-class carriages where everybody's standing up. And this one's called the Northern Star. Bigger locomotives, heavier loads. About 50 years later, locomotives and wagons looked like this. The engines were more powerful and could pull much greater loads. And with greater comfort came longer journeys. Large mainline stations were built. The carriages were more comfortable. And because carriages were comfortable, people made long journeys more often. Comfort for a queen. Here is a very comfortable coach. It was the one Queen Victoria rode in. Inside it was furnished like a room in a house. Early American locomotives. This engine did not burn coal, it burned wood. It had a cow catcher at the front to push away the animals. Now you can see it just there. This was another early American locomotive. It burned coal. The joining of the Union Pacific and Central Pacific Railways. After these railways met in 1869, People could travel by rail right across America. The first big railway accident. In 1879, the Tay Bridge in Scotland collapsed in a gale. A mail train and 80 people fell into the water. giant steam locomotive. The big boy Union Pacific engines were some of the biggest ever built. They were a hundred times heavier than the rocket. But the Mallard was the fastest steam locomotive in the world. In 1938 it reached 126 miles an hour. Railways that climb steep hills. On this steep railway, cables connect two cars. The car going down helps to pull the other one up. This railway has a tooth track between the rails. 
Under the engine, a toothed wheel turns in the rack. This pulls the train up steep slopes where the other wheels would slip. Small trains. This train is pulled by a model of the famous American locomotive. Children have fun riding on it. It's called the Hoop Toot and Whistle Railway. This small train travels in a tunnel under London. It carries mail for the post office. The train runs without a driver. Trains that carry cars. Special trains take new cars from the car factories. One train can carry as many cars as 20 car transporters on the road. And trains that go by the sea. Some ships are built to carry whole trains across the sea. The train is driven onto the ship. These ships are called train ferries. Special freight trains. Some goods are put in big boxes. These boxes are called containers. Trains take them to the docks and cranes lift them onto the special ships. In Australia, sheep are carried in special trucks 85 feet, 25.9 metres long. Five locomotives are linked to pull some American coal trains and each truck, or hopper, holds 100 tonnes. Here's a container train. And here's an American coal train. A railway across Australia. The Indian Pacific Railway crosses Australia from the Indian Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. It runs from Perth to Sydney and is more than 2,000 miles long. A railway across Canada. Every day the Canadian train runs across Canada from Montreal and Toronto to Vancouver. The train has two cars with domes. These give the best possible views. Yeah, there's the dome. A railway under the ground. Some cities have underground trains. Without them, there would be much more traffic on the city roads. London has 252 miles of underground railway. Another sort of underground railway. This is a train in a coal mine. It carries miners to the coal face where they work. This can be a journey of several miles. Other trains that take people to work. Because they can travel by train, many people live far from their work. In the mornings and evenings, the trains are packed. During the rest of the day, the trains are often nearly empty. Trains that people work in. In mail trains, men sort letters as the train goes along. The men work during the night. controlling the trains. Inside a modern signal box, men control the movements of trains. Moving lights on, on a board show where the trains are. The end of the age of steam. Few countries now use steam locomotives. Most locomotives today are driven by diesel engines or electric motors. They are cheaper to run and need less looking after. Long distance trains usually have a separate locomotive to pull them. Some small local trains have a diesel engine under the car. Meals on trains. Long distance trains have dining cars. Canada had the first one in 1867. Beds on trains. For long journeys at night, some carriages have beds in them. The carriages are called sleeping cars. A 
powerful new locomotive. This American locomotive is driven by a gas turbine. It works best on a long run pulling a heavy freight train. Gas turbine locomotives are also used to pull high-speed passenger trains. A train running on one rail. This train has rubber wheels. They run on a concrete rail. It's called a monorail, meaning one rail. On some monorails, the cars hang below the rail. A famous Japanese railway. The new Takado line in Japan is more than 400 miles long. This modern electric train travels at more than 100 miles an hour. A new British train. The APT, Advanced Passenger Train, is the newest British train. It can be driven by gas turbines or electric motors and it can reach a speed of 150 miles an hour. Other ways of travelling. Nowadays, people can travel by road and air as well as by rail. The new trains will be comfortable and fast to attract more passengers. An early American wood-burning locomotive. A steam locomotive, about 1875. Mallard, the world's fastest steam locomotive. A diesel locomotive. An electric locomotive. You can see the electric cable above there. And the newest British train, the APT. The flange rail of early railways. Each ra early railways had this flange on the rail to keep the tracks, to keep the wheels on the track. You can just see it there. The flange wheels used on a modern railway. Later, the flange was put on the wheel. This method is still used today. And how rails are fixed. Rails laid on wooden sleepers with gaps left between the lengths of rail allow them to expand in the hot weather. At a modern high-speed track, the rails are welded together in long lengths and firmly clipped onto concrete sleepers for strength and smooth running. 